Hello. Uh, we're gonna be doing a transmission service on our Ford Expedition right here. We got Axel as the cameraman, me as uh, me helping out with the service. We got Ian, he's gonna be our editor, and inside the car we got no. Ready? Is that car on yet? As we can see, uh, there's not much in it, so we'll be able to fix that uh, at the end of the video. Alright, so we got the we got the car up on the lift, and um, here's the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a uh, oil pan, of course, and then you have one of these transmission pumps to make the job easier. I had a melee. You can also get one of those magnet things here to keep your um, transmission pumps in. So, we're just going to attach it down here. Uh, we're going to be taking off these bolts off of the pan. Uh, take the pan off, make sure everything falls in here. Clean out, and we're going to clean out everything after that's done. So, and the size... Uh, uh, and the size we're using is 10 millimeter. Don't lose it. Alright, so the tool we're going to be using to remove the bolts, you do not want to use this to tighten the bolts. Alright, remember that. Um, it's a 3 8 uh, air gun to loosen the bolts with the uh, extension. Alright, so we're going to take these out, right? But you want to leave two tighten on this side here so you can remove these and then the fluid will just seep right out of this area here down to the pan. So we're going to start there. All right, remember there's not much food left in this pan, so yeah. you won't really see the seepage. We yeah. said we would add more during the, yeah. the, at the end of the video. Oh. <laughs> there goes that. We'll get that one later. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's right here. Wait, why do I have two magnets? I don't know. Oh, that was on the lid. Alright, right, so now we're gonna have another person, my assistant here, um, hold the pan up. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna loosen the last two bolts. Now this transmission uh, was already uh, low on fluid, so there's not gonna be any seepage here, but if yours uh, is full, then you'll most likely have it coming out of the edge. So. Now, if we weren't stupid, we would all be wearing top coats, so I would recommend yeah. top coats for this. Yeah. Especially with my depth. Exactly. Monument. My arm's already tired. Where's the magnet? It's over here. I'm just put that there. Okay, that works. We'll put it in there. Here. Okay. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Put it. Oh, I got it out. Alright. And there it is. Look at all that drip. Yeah, that's very low. That's very low. So we're gonna put more in it once we're done. Um, and then we're gonna have our filter here, which you're gonna remove. It's just held in by a rubber grommet right here. Just wiggle it out. It's gonna spill, so be careful. Or not, because this one was low, remember? <laughs> now, well, Noah. Right. And then we're gonna take these to the solvent tank over there, rinse them out, and then clean them with great cleaning. Yep. <laughs> All right, so on this 4R70W transmission, this um, uh, gasket is reusable, so you don't need to get a new one of those. But you for your pan, um, there's a magnet for magnet. <laughs> <laughs> you want to clean that. Um, it is glued to the pan, so it's not removable, but um, you also want to clean the pan out with um, brakes cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. And then you want a lint-free rag and wipe it down dry. All right, so now that we've cleaned everything, we're gonna add everything back. Noah, you wanna do this? So, oh, that's here's the filter. We're gonna replace, or not replace, but um, so back where it, it came from, reinstall, yep. Back where it came from is kinda crazy. Put that thing back where it came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remind you every time I go to the border. 
this one. All right, now we're gonna put our pan back on there. Yep, yep. Um, the gasket and the pan are a specific shape. Can you hold the pan, please? Yeah, I got the pan. Um, so you can't put it on upside down because you see the holes will not uh, match. So there's that. Um, you can hurry this up I'm currently getting yeah. dripped on. You can go ahead and lift it back up in there and then you want to. Other way. Oh. Turn it. Yeah. There's a magnet. Magnet. I got to read. Buddy. All right, so while my assistant here is threading the bolts back in, um, of course you want to start the bolts by hand, but we're going to need a speed ratchet to tighten them first, and then we're going to torque them. So I'm going to grab our 10 millimeter socket here, and then start tightening. That should help you out a little bit. Bro, that accord has been through hell and back. Which one? Hear them revving it. Oh, Alright, so now you want to torque the transmission pan bolts. On this car, you're going to torque them to 12 inch pounds, so I'm going to now show that. All right, so now underneath the engine bay, you're going to locate your dipstick. Um, this is an automatic transmission, so of course you fill the transmission fluid from the dipstick tube. So um, just for the purpose of this video, we're going to reuse the fluid. But of course, in real situations, you would get your new fluid. Take it out. Alright, so we're gonna replace or um, reinstall this dipstick. Mm, stick and it in there. We're gonna start the vehicle and then check the fluid. Show you guys how to do a transmission fluid change first things first we need to start the car to get the transmission fluid into the 